it is, baby. baby. I've been waiting all my life to be on a real podcast. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> Y'all know what's like, going on. Welcome back to Carefree Black Girl Podcast, hey. powered by Revolt, Hi. where we are carefree, black, black and girl. girl. Hey. Hey. hey, what's T? What, what's, what's up? up? You look at this and you trying to see what's up. <laughs> Ski my fucking you. Shay, how hey. are you? Hey, she, who that? I don't know. Shay, Hi, Shay. Mm. I'm Roxanne. Nice Period. to meet y'all. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I'm Roxanne. It's nice to meet y'all. And I want to let you know, I like long walks on the beach. Uh-oh. And I'm, I'm single and I'm ready to mingle. Ow. Sexy, sexy. sexy. Being I'm a sexy. single mom. They are so <laughs> No, for real. No. I was her kids and never I stopped. almost said that's a black queen. That you is not what? a black woman. <laughs> that hey, my it apologies. Depends. Look, it depends. So some episodes she was given. This is true. She was and she did not see it for that new wife. Ooh. No. It was not. It was not. Reba was like, girl. That was a 12 out of 10 show. Yeah, no. I, was, I should classic. not have been 10 years old relating that hard. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> okay. Now, come on. And we... And we give an honorary cramp free black girl. <laughs> no, for real, I would give Reba one. I would. Wow. Right. Niggas want to invite niggas to the cookout. But Reba, I eat some pasta salad. I know Reba I would. It's for probably she good. Show. That red hair making you act the fuck up. I'm, I'm just so saying. I'm so sorry because it wasn't even supposed to go this far. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the show. My name is Shay. I've been blessed. I've had a great week. Period. <laughs> yes. It's been a great week. Candy it's been Ray. a great time. Ray. Hey. Hey, y'all. How are you? How you feeling? I'm great. You looking good. You Thank are? you, baby. I'm trying. Uh-uh. You know, uh-uh. sun, sun, sun. Get ready. We have a very serious announcement coming up and something that should be on everybody's radar. Uh-oh. Inserted here will be a countdown to when Candy Rain will lock her hair. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Candy Rain. You should. She is, she, oh yeah, I'm doing it. She's doing it. She's for real. It. She's for real. So y'all, y'all stay on her. You heard it here first. You know, you I haven't had a real commitment in a long time. I'm so, and that's a know, real one. Not your that's commitment is, issue. I mean, <laughs> hey, we gonna talk about that on the next episode. Hey, hey. That's a doozy. But Key? I've been good. I really cannot complain at all. I definitely have been like, I went through a uh, like weird spot with mm-hmm. graduating but I mm-hmm. will say now I'm definitely on the opposite end hey. you know going back to the gym okay. reading more you we know like getting that. on my Zoom so on my Zoom yeah. that's me you that's know. me I'm, I'm very happy for you thank you and thank this, you. this dress <laughs> you know I'm very happy I'm gonna try not to be too gay <laughs> <laughs> But I, I about feel, it. Yeah, yeah, I feel like just for like a regular tank top dress, it, it's kind of really eating. It's hey, crazy. What can I say? It's Hello. crazy. So yes, and I'm of so course good. I have to have a good week because like a black woman is a U.S. Open champion. Ow. Period. Oh, and I mean, no, no, as far a as Americans who have been winning shit, it has been black women for a minute. Hello. You so know I what? think it's kind of clear y'all might can need to make some room. A round of applause for our carefree black. The one, the only, Coco Gauss. That's a fucking lation. That's first and foremost. That's Before fire. anything, the what? fuck else. At 19 years old, hello. What were you, what were you doing at 19? Child, Figuring not, life. not <laughs> shit. Okay. <laughs> and and rich. The wrong shit. So the wrong shit. The wrong shit. Really? Not winning the U.S. Open. So that in itself. <laughs> yes. Like, what? What? Kudos. And you know, she beat Serena at uh, 15 at mm. Wimbledon. Oh. Like, she's fucking crazy. She's, she's, she's like, it's, it's, a, it's another. I, 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 and she put that rolly right the fuck on. Ew. That's oh, that wrist up. I that see you, Coco, girl. 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 <laughs> and I think, and then. Even like the way that she handled herself as far as like standing up for herself and speaking, mm-hmm. speaking up when Even they was trying to pull that us. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I seen them trying to, <laughs> trying to pull that shit. I and and be a it. sportsman's like character. <laughs> They were trying to cheat the game, child. Excuse like, me. Like, what? No, they really were, though. They they, they was trying to... You know, I don't like that. Mm-hmm. I play yeah. basketball, and you would see shit like that where, like, they'll try to let, you know, the other side try to get uh, away with certain mm-hmm. things. And they won't let everybody in. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm and saying? And it's like, this lady, first off, she... We can see you. It's only two players. Hey, like, like hey, you all. <laughs> so, this is it. not your first rodeo, B. Don't be coming out here acting like... like Come on now. Come on. This is not your first rodeo. You know how you should act, and, and you're not doing it. And if won't nobody else say something, you. I'm going to say something. 
So Period. shout out to Coco for doing it. And it can be intimidating standing up for yourself in, in spaces like oh, that. Yes. Especially Ooh. like when you are the underdog. Nobody and you're that young. Sexy, and you're yeah. young. You're black. You you know, they don't expect. But shout out to her for That was a real carefree move. No, yeah, that, no was that was for sure. And then the white woman, move. she going to cry after. I just, I don't <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> save it for someone who gives a fuck. Save they will it, turn on the white tears. Yeah. Yeah. So fast because she yep. knew she got ate up. She knew she was so caught. She was wrong. That was too funny. I love that moment. That was my favorite. After you've done all you can, come on, hey. you just cry uh, if yeah. you're white. <laughs> that was a good one. Is that was that was, that was great. Don't even mark that. We're gonna copy mark that. Nope. <sighs> Donnie, anyway. anyway. Anywho. Anyway. <laughs> Shout out to her, though. Shout but. out to Coco Golf. That's our Carefree Black Girl of the Week. Yes. Girl. 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 Ciao. So, so. Mm. Y'all know we have we have to discuss. We have to. We gotta get into Please. Erica Mena and Spice. So <laughs> for the people who don't know, if you have not been watching Love and Hip Hop, don't worry, a lot of people haven't. But um, if you did decide to tune in or maybe you just tapped into the, you know, internet space, um, basically Erica Mena, well, let me let me back up. Let me back up. Okay, let me on. give the context for the girls. Paint the picture. Right. So I, I tuned in because I, I really wanted to see like what was going on. This Love and Hip Hop recently has just it's just been a lot. So I just I tuned in to see what it was giving. And I will say, like, from the beginning of the season, basically what's going on is everybody versus the baby daddies or the exes or whatever. So you see like the, mm-hmm. the Sierra Bambi and Erica versus Scrappy versus everybody basically mm-hmm. versus Safari, all these people. Now, yes. Spice is very close to Safari or I don't know, whatever, you know, whatever. Whatever relationship they have, they're cool, they're friends, whatever the case may be. Not insinuating nothing like that. Nothing romantic. But Besties. anyway, right. Mm-hmm. And I guess like it they've been getting close. closer throughout this situation Jamaica. of Erica. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. And they've been getting close throughout the situation where, you know, Erica mm. and Safari broke up. Mm-hmm. So they've been getting a lot closer. And um, that, I guess, inclined Spice to form an opinion on Erica and Safari's relationship. And so she's just very, like, like every time the situation is brought up, she's pro Safari. Like, she just, mm. she's like his bodyguard mm. in every situation. Mm. So that caused a rift between her and Erica because her and Erica, I guess, were actually cool. But then it's like, damn, mm. you on my baby daddy side and mm. you going so hard, bitch. Like, whoa, you're not even in a relationship. Anywho, so they end up sitting down because Erica's like, what the fuck is going on with my friends? So she comes in, you know, I Spice, I love you, and I just want to... I fasted for three days. And Spice days. is just sitting there like somebody stole her bicycle. Like, she don't give a fuck. She's not <laughs> hearing it. <laughs> fuck you, Erica. Like, she's just already not for it. She's not bicycle. going for it. So they get into it. They get into a spat or whatever. And then Spice mm. says, like, well, your son don't like you. Uh. Then Erica comes back and calls the girl a monkey, a blue monkey. <laughs> Well, she flips the table, and then mm-hmm. as she's being carried away, mm-hmm. she calls the girl a blue monkey and all that. Mm-hmm. So, oh. it's been a lot of conversation about it online, and now Erica's fired from Love & Hip Hop. Um, she won't be returning. Mm-hmm. She won't be returning. She has, like, a Tubi show or something. Mm-hmm. They kicked her off of that. Not you got kicked off of Tubi? Child. So, what? Not playing. Wow. <clears throat> that, that, now the picture is no, We're caught up. We're caught up. So, what, what, are, what are the people thinking? What, how do y'all feel? Cause I feel a lot, <laughs> but I don't want to go first. Um, originally, I didn't know what was going on. Cause you see things, you don't mm-hmm. know what's real, what's not. I personally don't watch Love and Hip Hop anymore, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I don't even know what's fabricated. So I'm not just gonna. I'm a find mm-hmm. out when I find out. Yeah. So finding all of that out right now whoa tripping because yes. what is that and why would you say that out of all things mm-hmm. like you were definitely trying to be hurtful spiteful like i don't like that i don't like it i don't At like all. that that's not okay yeah so i think the kicker with that of like the the real root of the hatefulness and the spitefulness is the fact that she had kept saying it mm-hmm. and kept saying mm-hmm. it and mm-hmm. went as far as to make noises and kept saying it and kept saying it because my position is mm. you're sitting across from that we would no exist unless you said something because bitch no because the, 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 you got another kid 17 and what Erica 
I thought you was only 25. Well, I'm a liar. You, I could tell around the neck. But, <laughs> but it's just like, okay, you have a 17 year old son who dead ass don't want nothing to do with you. Do you know how bad of a parent you have to be for a 17 year old to not want no reality show clout, no Instagram That's a point. outside? That's a point. That's a point. I don't. Get, I don't fuck with you at all before I'm even 18 legal enough to say it. So, Spice, you came left field with some shit that wasn't in nobody's storyline, wasn't it wasn't something that Very had true. to be said. So, mind you, I'm on the other end of the table pretending like I fasted for three days for you and coming in here and trying to bring the peace and be the peacemaker. Shakana here, I don't know why, but she is. And I'm trying to be nice. And you bring up my son. At that point, she really could have said flipped a lot of anything. She could have flipped the table. She could have said anything. And the fact that she was across from Spice, who was wearing a blue wig, the first thing maybe that came to her tongue was, bitch, that's why you sitting over there looking like a monkey. But, and that's all I would give her. Knew so it. it kind of felt like she had been like unveiling or ripping off this band-aid of just like I know that there's certain shit that I can't say to a black woman as a Latina okay. but this is these are the things that I'm thinking about you oh, when absolutely. I see you mm-hmm. yeah I mean and I mean also and then a lot of common Which thing crazy. That, a common Nuts. thing that keeps coming up is that um you know, you want to live in our spaces, you want to make money off of us, you want to mm-hmm. procreate with us, your mm-hmm. baby daddy is mm-hmm. this and that. And a lot, and that's a reality for a lot of people in her same position. So when she started monkey, 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 now you trying to be now you now you getting in that bag. Mm-hmm. And you could have literally at that point that Spice had said what she said, you really would have been entitled to say anything. You might have you've been entitled to cuss her the fuck out, be uh-huh. her ass, anything, bitch. Don't talk about my son. No, for real. But the fact that you said what you said, the way that you said it, it nuts. I agree. That's all I'm saying. That, no, I agree. I definitely feel like you you said it exactly how I was gonna say it. Like I feel uh-huh. like I definitely feel like uh-huh. I feel like Spice she was wrong for bringing up that girl kid. However, it's never warranted for you to ever call somebody a monkey, and then for you to call that lady a monkey on national television. Are you fucking crazy? You knew and the way. And you're not even black. Like, Mm -hmm. I'm from Florida. So a lot of things that I grew up hearing, I would never say in 2023 in this current Mm -hmm. era Mm -hmm. ever in life. Mm -hmm. But I feel like for you to bring up that lady's child, you're dead wrong. And I feel like that needs to be addressed as well because for you to get on live and talk about, well, I didn't say anything about her son. You were talking about her parenting. And I know Mm -hmm. my mama, if anybody ever came from my mama Mm -hmm. as a, as a mom, as a parent, oh, it's World War fucking three. But World War three is never calling somebody a monkey. Like, Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't understand how it went there. I don't know. That's never warranted in no way, shape or form. I don't give a fuck what, um, Erica said, or what Spice said to you, Erica, there should be no reason why you were calling somebody a monkey. Like, bitch, you, you took that like, way too far. Like you said, mm-hmm. you could have whooped her ass. Mm-hmm. You could have just been shaking the table. No. You could have done whatever the fuck you wanted to do. But for you to call her a monkey mm-hmm. and make monkey noises, I don't feel bad for you. But you know who else is not catching strays? VH1. Mm. Because all of, this, on, key. all of this is performative. Oh, absolutely. Bring because on, there is a beautiful, beautiful show. It's no longer on television called Basketball Wives. <laughs> and um, <laughs> it had, it, there was a, a woman on the show named Evelyn Lozada. And she would do, she literally went across a table to get to another woman. She threw chairs, tables at another woman. There was, um, like, towards the end of the show, there was, uh, I can't think of her name right now. But OG, another woman on the show, she dogged OG down, like down bad. And OG, you know, she plays football. You know, she's more of a muscular woman. She's dark skinned. And OG couldn't even raise her voice an octave. And it was like, whoa, I'm terrified. Like, what is happening? And so I just feel like for Evelyn was never fired. Mm-hmm. Evelyn stayed on the show. Nothing happened. So Mona, for you to put up a thing and say it's handled, you thought you ate? She like, really girl, did. please, that didn't eat at all. And then another thing for me is like, y'all aired it though. Not only did y'all air it, a lot of people talking mm-hmm. about that. Y'all mm-hmm. aired it, and then as if you continue to watch the season now, that's all Spice is talking about. That every now she beefing with Bambi and um, Sierra because she feels like they should hold Erica accountable. And it's, and it's like all of this is happening, and I understand and I get it, but it's just like 
this is clearly there's no room for this to actually be a conversation this is really mm. for just tv and yeah. y'all are playing around with this and you're thinking like if you actually gave a fuck about colorism it would have never seen a light of day what if you actually gave a fuck evan lozada would have been fired all kinds of people who have been on vh1 that did some fuck ass shit would have been fired mona you don't give a fuck you care about that coin and you saw that that clip on the shade room on tiktok everybody saw that clip it went viral so now all of a sudden she's fired I'm on to you, Mona. You think she gonna bring I'm it back? I'm on to you. I think in a couple seasons. But I honestly think a lot of the people on that show need to be gone. The same thing with Real Housewives. Mm-hmm. I think the new girls, that's who you always see on, on the TV. You see Chaotic. You see, um, mm. what's the other Erica that did the Busted Challenge? Like Erica Banks. You know, you see the new girls, the Rennie Rucci. And <laughs> you, that's who you see. You're not, you're not clocking in to see Rashida. No shade. But you're not. And that's all I have to say. Got it. That was really good, Kiana. Yeah. You know, I tried. I was waiting. waiting. That was a good job. I was waiting good for good that job. opportunity. Good job. Like, I feel, I feel like we really, that was a really great example of us all bringing something to the play. We did that. That, that was really good Clap of us. That, us. Was, that was really good. Clap it up. When y'all start handing out awards for podcasts, no who really fucking do this shit. Hello. No who really out here, really goddamn giving y'all folks the motherfucking material. Huh? A lot of bitches don't have the range at all. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We're going to stop here to have a little bit of messages from our sponsors. <laughs> so, yes, y'all. And then we also Ooh. have to talk about Naomi Campbell. Ooh. So, Ooh, she Gemini. has a new... She's a Gemini. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Not too much. Not, Not too, too much. much. Anymore. Yes. Um, Naomi Campbell, she has a collab with a uh, Pretty Little Thing, which mm-hmm. is like a fast fashion. It's like your boohoo, your fashion nova, whatever. The girls know um, Pretty Little Thing. They know a little they thing. They know Pretty they Little Thing. But you know, they be trying to pretend they don't they be doing the to, a little thing shout out to she in, girl. Come on, we know. Oh. We, we <laughs> literally see it. So she collabed on about, you know, 30 oh. or so different um, pieces with PLT. Mm. She also collabed with two um, fashion designers, um, Victor and Nate from Nigeria and Edmund Thompson who is like based in New York or whatever and um, the people are upset because they feel like you know she shouldn't be collaborating with the fast fashion brands you know she should be doing better things with her platform or whatever because you know she is a, the supermodel like she is the in super- Vincent modeling she is the supermodel and she basically just said she didn't give a fuck like these white women do it and it's y'all don't say the fashion <laughs> honestly <laughs> well she this the whole story bro you finish it that I mean that, that's basically the tea like she just said she didn't give a fuck and I that's like the end that. of the story that's it y'all that's, felt seen huh yeah, huh yeah. I'm just saying I I mean Here's the thing. It's 2023. Mm. Yeah. Who you want me to collab with? Versace? Like, first of all, I probably done did it already. Like, let me get my pretty little thing off. Yeah. And if you don't want to buy it, then you don't have to buy it. I see what y'all are saying. But if I go do something high end, y'all going to buy that too. So why is y'all bothering me? Are the fit, do they look crazy? Are the pieces looking crazy? Have y'all seen it? No. I have seen. What you think? I have seen the collection. And it's cute. Okay, it's, cute. It's, it's cute. cute. it's cute. It's cute. Of course, it ain't gonna be crazy. Just, it's right. like, first off, people always want to try to come to stuff with an elitist mindset. Yeah. Or just feel like some shit just should be no but echelon or whatever. Like, when you really look at the statistics, when you look at the coins, a lot of girls are buying the Fashion Novas. Hello. A lot Absolutely. of girls are going to... We're poor. Are going to the <laughs> We're poor. We're literally just talking about that. Literally. Layla, <laughs> Another layer of not even just being poor, but the accessibility. Mm-hmm. The fact that you can you go order some shit, you know it's gonna get there, and it's gonna look at least something close to what the fuck it looked like on the Insta, on the on the website. Yeah, because a lot of these girls be showing us one thing and giving us another. What? A lot of these girls are taking money on Monday. You don't see the product until next fucking month. Uh-huh. <laughs> Three, four, five months Weeks. from now. If you even get if it, if you ever even get it, we'll block you. <laughs> you can't even real. message them about the shit that you supposed to have. I know for a fact that I know I know for a fact that if I put in my order on Fashion Nova, it's going to get there before the end of the week. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get my wares out of it. I'm going to get my fit off. And then I mean, Ow. the girls are going places. They're going, they're doing things. You have yes. to have multiple fit. Like, 
it's cost effective it's cute it's doing what it's supposed to do and it's Na- Naomi fucking Campbell like right. let, let, let her do what she That's gotta what do like, like, let her do what crazy. she gotta do and don't and don't try to tear it down mm-hmm. like that oh well, you could be doing something else. Because y'all aren't going to buy it. Because y'all don't have any money. Like, so let's just be for real. Th- th- well, none of a- We're all trying to live and make it. And exactly. And Pretty Little Thing, I will say, has been doing a good job as far as um, letting the black girls come on. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Absolutely. Or giving the black girls free Platforms. creative range. Yep. I mean, Tiana Taylor uh, is, a, is a creative director exactly. for Pretty mm-hmm. Little Thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I mean, if anybody can direct, Sienna Taylor fucking eats. It, hello. So she's got that. I mean, Jada Wada has her pretty little thing shit. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's like, even Dira, the YouTube girl, like, mm-hmm. they, they are giving the girls their platforms. They're giving For the sure. girls their things. So, I mean, if Naomi wants to come and have a little fun, Let who else has it. earned it? Yeah. If, if Naomi hasn't earned it, then who has? Go get it. I agree. Too. Go Ooh. get it. Go shop. I mean, I might see a little one, too, from the girl. Period. I might see a little thing, too. Yes. Don't 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 go don't give a don't. That was that was my uh, that was your outro of music. That, that, yeah, the, that the was music. my interpretation of our <laughs> don't. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what? That was a good one. Oh, and we're back. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. And we're back. I mean, we can keep it rolling. I'm not even mad What's at this. Up? You're just a little chopping at it. Boom. Y'all, Yo. so you know we have got to get into the things, girl. Yes. So listen, Come on. right now as we're recording, and I mean you're gonna get this soon. It is fashion week. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, it is fashion mm-hmm. time. The girls are outside. They're giving us looks. Mm. So I mean, the Kip Free Black girls have got to get in on it. We Hello. gotta, we gotta talk about the fashion. We've gotta talk we about do. the looks. So we're doing hot <laughs> or not fashion trends, okay? <laughs> What is so fucking fun? What's <laughs> <laughs> that Do this yes, so we can have a gift. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, with me. Uh, yes. That's pretty me. But you know what I mean. I said. You ain't you know what? Uh, We see each other. <laughs> Literally, yes, that's yes. my next picture caption. Like, the next time I get a fit off, I'm that, a classy bitch. You. But you know, I'll be outside. Are you going to have tabbies uh, on in the fit? Oh. <gasps> they yeah. need us. They need it. When they giving the bitches they shit. We need to be in that lineup of bitches who get their shit. Because you were on your agree. Zoom, you threw me the fucking alley oop, and I caught that bitch you out did. of the fucking air. Like, nobody's seeing us for real. Yeah. Honestly. Anyway, tabbies. Uh, for those of y'all who don't know what a tabby is, get on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> for real. One, two, three. Nice. I think they're cute. Yeah. Oh, no. I think they have the little camel toe. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. It's you see me, you're not just trying to see what's up. <laughs> no. It's hot if you know how to get them off. It is not <laughs> if you do not. That's what I'm going to say. Because some people can get oh, them wait. off. Some people can't get them off. But some if you're yeah. trying to get them off, and if you're trying to steal them for a white girl, <laughs> No, cause be for real. Hey, that is fucking wild. And the way that the New York girlies literally didn't even flinch. They're like, yeah, we did, like this is our dating life. Like this is the pool. Like, no, that's scary. This is what you're going through. Somebody give those New York girls a hug. No, yeah, for real. Don't do that. I'll, I'll take these Atlanta yeah. niggas if that's what y'all. These gonna Atlanta do. niggas. I mean, after they what? just need a place to stay and somebody to watch their kids and somebody to beat their baby mama up and somebody to give them a ride and maybe let them use the car while they at work. Yeah, but they ain't gonna steal. Okay, like, I thought like, they all right. Shit, you know, on the other side. And y'all paying thousands for the? I just can't. Oh my god! Imagine paying two thousand dollars for your closet that you can put your tabbies in. <laughs> While you also sleep next to it and your noodles are on the stove. <laughs> Yo. Just and that's invite what he is. a nigga in there and he snatch him up like the Grinch in the middle of the night. He did you a favor, sister. Oh, damn. So then y'all let us know. Do you have tabbies for somebody to steal? And maybe even mention us in your tabby fits and let us know. Did it. you do it right or did you do it wrong? It Was it hot? hot? Or was it not? Child. Moving the fuck on. Keep it with the fashion girlies. One girl who's always staying in front of the trains. Yes, yes. a black queen. JT, I'll Ow. fly with J-T-Tavia. it. Yeah. with it. Yeah. 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 So she did a spread for Poster Girls mm-hmm, 2024, mm-hmm. like their new seasons. Hot or not? Three, two, one. Hot. 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 It really like girl, we just girl like 
Please Literally, I, lo- I love what it was given visually. I yes. loved. I love that it was just an ode to like this is some shit that w- would have been done in 2008. It was giving nostalgic without being the Y2K that everybody's trying to go. Like mm-hmm. this is the real life. Like remember watching the news in 2008 and thinking cameras can't get any better than this. Yes. This is like look at how, how high definition this is. They can't. They literally did what the fuck needed to be done. I love it. And she she rarely misses so. She re- and yes. like she like she's giving the girls body. body. She's giving oh, her fashion. <laughs> A baddie. Like fucking mm. usher usher mm-hmm. us into the new era. Hello. That's all I was gonna say. Like I love. I don't know about you, girl. <laughs> But I love JT as a fashion girl. Yeah. I love right. JT yeah. becoming the fashion girl, the it girl. Like, what? Mm-hmm. In she eats her. down, sure. like, even from, like, her Rick days when she first started wearing mm-hmm. Rick, the girl was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> now all these girls wear the Ricks. Like, yeah. I just, I love her style. I love her innovation. And I love that she expresses herself through fashion. I think that is fire. And she's a bad bitch. Honestly, mm. I... I don't see her putting on anything and I don't like it. Period. <laughs> I want I want to ask her what percentage would she say of like times that she gets dressed that she dresses herself or somebody else is dressing her. Mm. Not to say that I don't think that she has her own style mm-hmm. or whatever, but like if, if JC was here, I would ask her. Like, I'm just curious. That's I'm right. just curious. I would like, that she dress herself. Yes. Some time if JT, I had I'm real. sure this will get to you because we're connected. Hey. <laughs> we're plugged in. If you had to like what if you had to put a percentage on it about mm-hmm. how much percent do you dress yourself or are other people styling you? Mm-hmm. The girls want to know. Yes, mm-hmm. we so, love y'all TV. Yes, but we love you down, girl. But come on, keep we eating. love it. We love really, it. really keep eating us the fuck up. Yeah. really bad. Anyway, to bring it all on home. Come on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, for our gender reveal. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe and Hallie, my baby. I know. Right? I'm stop spreading propaganda. Like, we don't know if anybody is allegedly pregnant or not. Yeah, we you don't know? know. We literally don't have our ears to that street, but the street that we do have it on is Victoria's Secret. Yes. We, we know yes. all her tea. Hey. We do. And we know all her tea, and we, we know do. that they have a collaboration with VS Pink. Hello. Mm-hmm. And we need to know: is it hot or is it not? Three. Two, one. Eh. That's so crazy. That I was really expecting more diversity. <laughs> I didn't want to be the only one and be like, I mean, I guess. I mean, it's just, it's literally just two piece sets. Activewear, seamless set. You know spring, what? They summer, can't do fall. fancy. I was thinking, like, I'm like, what else? And, you know, it's. Mm. What? Well, I mean, I would have liked to see the fancy collab. Like, they you can't know, do coming fancy. In. What I can't. You can't do Fenty. <laughs> You're messy. I'm not messy. Two and two just made four. They, can't, they can't be on Fenty. Think about it. You smart. I can trust someone. Think, 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 think. Beyonce. Beyonce yeah. versus Rihanna, girl. Like, that's you know, a real thing. That's what the people think. That's what the people think. think. But it's like, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna. Look at the, look at the leader in the Rihanna. <laughs> <and Abby. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> you know. You know. You know. You know. You know. The people are gonna, even if that's not real, the people are going to. It's not a lot of shit that's, that's not, not real. Fancy. Yeah, there's a, lot, there's a lot of shit that's not That's, that's the not first real. thing. Oh, she's leaving Beyonce. Oh, they're leaving Beyonce. They. This is their well, rebellion like against Chloe her. And, and all the ass that she been so she done had some Fenty partners. Oh, yeah. Hashtag Fenty collab. Hashtag Fenty oh, yeah. ambassador. As a but fellow. just like, yeah, true, or just true. like just on my Instagram for play play. When it come down to that park with a contract, yeah, for real, yeah, we're not doing. Okay, okay, okay. You okay. feel me? Girls. So I think so. That's the only reason why I be like. That's why I just like I get it, but yeah. Yeah, for me, it, it ain't my Instagram. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say no. Nah. The answer is lukewarm. No. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's cute if you want some gym wear. Congrats but it's nothing that's going to be like, oh she my gosh. She got Sheree having just, a sale that's right now. That's what it's giving. It's giving and spring and summer. It's, well, that's it's what it's spring, giving. It's spring summer. Yeah. It's nothing extravagant to look at. But if you need some two pieces. Yeah. They probably had to go the modest route. Something. <laughs> Maybe. Well, <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Coaching tracksuits. 
<laughs> to the kneecaps. To the what? Everything to the knees. I'm talking to the relax. knees. Everything. Jeans <laughs> to the floor. <laughs> what, bitch? I don't want to see it. I'm okay. just saying. <laughs> you just a bit. Don't do it. it. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Anyway, y'all, let us know how y'all feel about our hot tonight. Are yes. we just are we on the wrong side of history? Let <laughs> us know. Like, and make sure to follow us on all platforms so that we can hear you loud and clear. Um, I don't. What's up, G Way? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's get into it. My personal favorite segment. Ooh. Mm-hmm. You know I'm a DJ, so we're going to get into the boppity bop, 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 bop. Sorry, that was too much. You know what? It's okay. <laughs> last, last episode, it was me. Last it's ever, bro. <laughs> listening to that shit. Back. <laughs> And like <laughs> seeing the sign, child. Oh, and you had tried it last episode. Oh, fuck y'all. But it's okay. We're gonna leave it in the past. We're gonna leave it in the past. It's a bad. It's a bad. It's a bad. Anywho, it's a bad. You can't even see it. That's why. <laughs> that's why. That's crazy. Go back and listen to the episode. That was crazy. It's okay. Anywho, we are gonna get into these bops. Yes, yeah, so we are. All right. So, um, first on the docket, we got beer. Billion yeah. with million. With Business million. As usual. What y'all thinking? I like it. Yeah, I like it. It's I like it. Bop. It's a bop. bop. I, love, I it. love the video. Same. I have I no it. other reason to have Nene in the mix. What? <laughs> that girl Nene, she is an icon. Iconic. I don't, I don't care how, what they try to take from her. She's she's she she's owed it. her things. She like did that. a thing. She's owed her things. And yeah, I thought that it was super smart for Bia to kind of Put that into the fold of the mm-hmm. rollout. Yeah, uh, she she usually has a decent rollout. Mm-hmm. I think she's really trying to really be consistent and make a name for herself. So you know, she every now and then, not even every now and then, she's pretty consistent. So mm-hmm. I fuck with it. Bling uh, bling bling. <laughs> <laughs> <It's just mad. laughs> All right, I'm curious to see how y'all feel about this next one. Okay. I'm Ooh, scared. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. So, <laughs> Bomb Goes by bum, bum, Cardi bum, B bum, and Megan. Bum. Megan The Stallion has came out to play. She and is. she came out. Is, are they work wives, work sisters? What you think? I think they so. Just, yeah, they, they enjoy working with each other. They work. They, 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 they enjoy working with each other. They're working up to it, right? Yeah. Well, what y'all think about their new song, Bomb Goes? It's a grower, not a shower. <laughs> a, it's a grower, grower not, not a shower. shower. Yeah. That's crazy, that's but I a, understood. That's a perfect... That's all I have to say about... It's cute. I do like... I, can, I listen to it, and of course, I might have a little nod. Because, I mean, the beat is infectious. We're all happy to see Megan back and making music. Like, mm-hmm. how are you going to be mad? They look great in the Ooh, video. For real. Like, I'm talking about watching it on mute. Then I can do, I can do it all day. You oh are God. crazy. I can do it all day. That's crazy. But <laughs> the actual cons, like, the song <laughs> itself is just like... Mm. what are we missing mm. like if if I was in the studio and like they're bringing me like this is the next single this is what we're working on boom listen mm-hmm. nobody thought to be like let's take it back to the drawing board a little bit <laughs> or like let's yeah. what, how how married are you to this line or like yeah. you know just, just that extra digging because if you're gonna do some shit do it right that's what I always say you don't come out the court with no half ass shit. I'm not putting no half ass bitches on the floor. What? We, we, if we gonna come out, we gonna do what we need to do. So for us to be anticipating holding our breasts like that, for y'all to do what y'all did, it's just, it's a growing out of shower. Yeah, I can respect it. What you think, Key? I think, I honestly think it was good. We're just not the audience. For it. And I can say that as someone who did not enjoy Renaissance mm. and the people love Renaissance, mm. but it just didn't resonate with me mm. because it's just not what I wanted to hear from Beyonce. Mm-hmm. And I feel like we may f- we may be like used to hearing a certain thing from them. Because so, like even now that I think about it, I can hear this song on like. I don't know, like a, crazy. like a Miami Vice or like yeah. a GTA or like, you know, I could I could hear it being like a commercial thing. The video, beautiful, eight down. And of course, you know, they're going to have lines like Cardi, she says, my BD is amigo, your BD is a zero. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I definitely think they're, they, it, it's cute. Like mm-hmm. I can see this is just a single that they wanted to do well or that they could shop around to be on TV mm-hmm. or being video games and shit like that. Am I going to ever play this song? No, but... 
If it's gonna make them some coins, it's a grower, not a show. Yeah, that's and crazy. I want to see it going crazy on like TikTok and stuff oh, like yeah, that. Yeah, like yeah, they're yeah. definitely gonna eat that up. I can see a hip dance or some I, bullshit. No, 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 no. I think won't be they, participating. I wish they would have released it earlier in the summer. I think them releasing it later on kind of takes away some of the vibe because you're releasing it and it's about to be fall. I personally enjoy the track. Um, to me, it's a fun track. Again, as a DJ, I'm looking right now for songs that's going to make the spot fun, right? Mm-hmm. Everything can't be boom, 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 bust them up, da 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 Like, I don't want to play all that. I want to play stuff that's going to encourage girls to shake their ass for people to move. That's what this beat does for me. Um, there's some catchy punchlines, you know what I mean? Um, and I don't know. I think the record is just fun. I think they did WAP, and I think they didn't want to do something that was like that. Mm-hmm. And... It's very easy to go in and do a hip hop track, but like what's going to kind of push the envelope in a sense? And right. I think they were just testing with it. I, w- mm-hmm. I, I wasn't even thinking like the sample. I didn't even think they were going to go in this direction, to be honest. Mm-hmm. So when I heard it, I was like, OK, initially I was like, mm. and then when I played it back, I was like, OK, I like it. So for me personally, I like it, but I can see why it. It has to be a grower. That's I mean, good. Not a That's good. Show. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. But I like it. So uh, it's kind of it's boppish. It has bop <laughs> tendencies. That's what it is. Shout out to you, girl. Hey, girl. We love you, baby. We love you, baby. Um, all right. She just mama, she she's crazy. It, we just like, like that's so. Oh, oh it's this like is what's beef. It's everything that I do. Oh, I'm just. Why right. I can't do <laughs> Steven, like, I can't even exist. I don't like y'all. No, don't touch me. What? I thought y'all were Gemini twins. You done we fucked up with the wrong one. Oh. You done got the wrong one. Oh, 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 she gave me a shot. She had no You done got the wrong one. Me personally, I'm so. Like glow, okay, but carbon. we don't have to get into it. You don't got no wrong one. one. You don't got the wrong one. Hello. That was a good one. So, what you, what y'all say? <laughs> is that a bop or not? Is it a bop? I think it's a bop. Bop, bop tendencies. Bop tendencies. Mm, why you say bop tendencies? Because I feel like they have better songs together. Mm. I think that this song was cute. It's not a bad song. You know, I would definitely play it again. Am I running to play it? No. And I feel like, I'm not going to lie, it had me and then it lost me in certain points of the song. Like, it wasn't a song mm-hmm. where I was glued. Like, I feel like mm-hmm. Shibuya was glued. Like, mm-hmm. you know, they have Hot Potato. Like, they have, I love them as a group. I love them Except as a collective. I love K Carbon. That's mm-hmm. a queen. That's a black queen. Um, but you I are the president it. of the K Carbon fan club. You really are. Yeah. 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 We do love K Carbon. Like, I, I love her that. so bad. And I, I like found myself. Them, actually, I don't remember whose verse it was, but I was like, damn, can we get a K Carbon? Like, fuck. <laughs> I'm so, and I feel like for that reason, I had to say Bob Tendencies. Mm-hmm. But it's a good song, though. It is. Mm, yeah. How you feeling, Kim? Um, I would definitely say it's Bob Tendencies. Um, it's a bop, but you know, it's not that Shibuya. I don't think it's gonna take off like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know. I I do like when they get together though. Like they got a that visual was hard with the set it off play mm-hmm. with that. So that kind of got my expectations a little high too. But mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know if I'm really gonna be rushing to play this in my set if that mm-hmm. makes sense. Yeah. So that's one like Bob tendency. So I think. I agree. I think that it's a bop. I did say bop, so I'm going to stand on bop. Yes, it is. Of it course. Is. A, I do feel like it bop. is a bop. Um, it's just bouncing that many people on a song is going to be hard. <coughs> oh, yeah. For sure. And That's I mean, true. just we're so impressed by the way that because they have been able to do it successfully. So we, we, we count on them a little bit more. It's a little bit heavier of mm-hmm. a load that they have to carry. Mm-hmm. So when they do something, it might not ride as smooth as other times. It just kind of stands out a little bit more because they've bodied everything the fuck else. We talked about that on the last episode, by the way. Okay. Just want to throw that in there. Okay, yeah. You know, Y'all need to catch them. I'm just saying. We, we, Hello. You know, Y'all need to tap in. When, when you be great, you got to yes. be great. Stop so, playing. Yes. Yes. Drop that heat, shorties. For real. Yes. yes. So, but I mean, it's cool. It's yeah. cute. The visuals. Yeah. Yeah, tendencies. All right, y'all. It's still, a, it's still got the bop in front, so it, it yeah. wins. The bop is in the building. The bop, the bop is, is in the building. building. It is. 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 It
came and showed a little face. Yeah, it did. It did. It did. <laughs> Y'all, let us know what you guys think are bops or not. Mm-hmm. And let us know what we should put on our Carefree Black Girl playlist. Yes. You thought we weren't doing those anymore? You're a dummy. Hello. I'm sorry. That wasn't nice and uplifting. <laughs> you just were a little misled. Yeah. Make sure to tap in with us on SoundCloud so that we can keep you up on all the bops and not the knots. We're not going to put any knots on there. Not at all. Unless it's a girl's love Beyonce. Hey. I That's dropped a the mix. Yeah, it is. Big bop. SoundCloud. Boop, boop, boop. Just search DJ Candy Just right here. Just, yeah, very yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, know how we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, we we I love it. We're the luckiest girls in the world. <laughs> we we are. truly are. And so now. Y'all, we are getting to um, some of our final parts of the show. Yes. Has it been a cool ride so far? Uh, Let us know how you've yes. been feeling. But right now, we are at the Get Free segment of the mm-hmm, podcast. Mm-hmm. Welcome. Welcome in. Come Pull on. up a chair. Come Let's on. really talk Giving about you the keys it. to life. Lots Giving of space you here. the keys to open the door to your happiness. Hello. <laughs> Today, on the topic of style and fashion, we really want to get into... Come on, Bob how do you first? Come on. That just gave. With the red on in the glasses. I love it. Come on, let's talk to us about your style. Come on, come on, style. <gasps> Listen. <laughs> no, it comes, it really does come a time in everybody's life where they have to really like find mm. their style. Mm-hmm. Not the trends, not what you thought that you had to wear in school to be cool, mm-hmm. not what your favorite artist was wearing or anything like that. What does my style look like to me? Mm-hmm. What looks best on me? You know, I mean, like, at the beginning of your life, you're just throwing on clothes because, I mean, you don't have anything to reference. Yeah. But as you start getting into the swing of things, you're like, I like the way this silhouette looks on me. I like the way that this perfume mixes with my pheromones. Mm-hmm. I like, like, you start to really open yourself up to this is what I like, this is what I don't this like, is what I like, and this is what, <laughs> <laughs> and this Six. is what I'm going to continue to, you know, walk in, that mm-hmm. lane I'm going to walk in. So, Listen, finding your personal style is a personal journey, mm-hmm. right? Yes. There is no right or wrong way to do it. But the main thing that you should always take away from it is really looking into yourself and asking yourself what you want to see, what you want to represent. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be something that you can find in a magazine. It's not even going to be something that one of the carefree black girls can tell you. It's something that you definitely have to take the time out to do the research on. And at the end of the day, do what makes you feel good. Yeah. I'm currently going through my own like style renaissance, I would say. Mm-hmm. I have been consistently eating bitches up. <laughs> and have. and, have. and it's just it it's is. something so liberating and unlocking about, about I love it to see because it. it's just like I got it now. I know what I want to wear. I know when to push the envelope. Oh, yes. Can we take <laughs> ten seconds? Just 10 seconds for the look. Yeah. Like, can we just and zoom in into the look. What? Like, it's okay. Like, we. And sometimes you have to push that envelope with yourself. Sometimes, and it's just all about expressing yourself. And mm-hmm. I'm at the point where I know how to channel myself into, into my look. It's not always child. When I was younger, it was about being naked. <laughs> Now I, I still don't wear no clothes, but it be it be the style how you put it together. So it's it's all something that just unveils itself for you over time. And I really encourage you to take that extra time to figure out how to find your style. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it definitely aligns with like finding yourself as well, mm-hmm. because I feel like when I was younger, like. And not to make it dark, but because I went through sexual trauma when I was a kid, I strayed away from feminine shit. Like, I didn't wear crop tops. I wasn't interested in none of that shit. Like, I was that, you know, graphic tee, that, uh, like, graphic tee and Jordan girl. That was me. And even that even still is me. Like, I still wear dickies. Like, that's still my vibe. But I also am able to wear, like, shit like this. I'm able to wear dresses and skirts. Like, when I was younger, you could never catch me in a skirt. Like, it just wasn't happening. You could only catch me in a dress because my Nana put me in it for Sunday. That was it. (laughs) But now, like, as I've gotten older and I've started to heal from certain things and just, like, really redefining what womanhood looks like for me what it feels like and like figuring out how comfortable i am with certain things like 
I definitely feel like it's a it's a journey. It's a path. You know, even there's sometimes some shit I put on now to where I'm like, mm, I this wouldn't put that on me. again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of finding it. Right. You gotta go through it to find it. Literally. It's fun. Um, yes. So it kind of goes back into that reinvention conversation. It's like, even for me, like someone like me, like uh, I would say for the longest, like I was like, I don't want to say pretty much like stuck in like my masculine energy, but I'm also very cozy. So it's very mm-hmm. easy to mix up the two. Mm-hmm. And like for me, it was like I hit a point where I was like, all right, like I'm about to have fun with this and like show this side that I know that I have. I just don't do it. Mm-hmm. And for me, that was kind of like this past kind of two summers. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And like still going into it, but I'm also stepped into my 30s these past two summers yeah. you know what i'm saying so Damn. that journey embracing I'm every side oh, of yourself don't do that. Hey, you, know coming. Coming. you know what's coming it was it's don't do that <laughs> but yeah but you're right though like Embrace just embracing every yeah. every you know who i am at that moment having fun with it and like having the luxury to do it so like it's fun find yourself and like you said earlier like what's not like what other people are wearing right like in school and like mm-hmm. things like that because like let's be real that all you know that it was if, peer pressure yeah it's to a get them c3 forcing you know Hello. that wasn't something that you went in the store and picked out yourself <laughs> at you all you seen the popular girl feet swaying in them c3 jordans in them glad band jordans and you wanted to go Not get too you much on jordans the, the now. Glad, <laughs> you wanted to go get you the you had, I know you had a pair of clear forces. I didn't Can't. actually. Don't fucking play me. Candy, Ray. Let's do it. She had a pair of clear forces. You just matched the outfit. You crazy. No. My drill was crazy, okay. but it wasn't like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Well, yeah. But so... Y'all find y'all style. Have Listen some to y'all fun with it. Mm-hmm. Have some fun. Allow yourself to grow and like don't be stuck in one pocket. You yeah. know, all of this is about growing and getting to your new point and finding your style. And being free about it. Being essentially. Free. Like just yeah. do and even it. if you gotta get on the Instagram yeah, and, and get and some, screenshot some girls nothing that wrong with some like how you wanna look. It's nothing wrong with some inspo. Yeah. Nothing wrong but with girl, some inspo. no, not too much. Not too right. much. Not, not too much. much. Be, be yourself. Be you. That is the key. Be, be, be you. Yes. <laughs> We haven't given girls vocals. Hello. And anyway, book (laughs) us. Book us for all the things. So listen. Hello. Speaking of people we need to book. Yes, Mm -hmm. please. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to put y'all on real quick to Connie Diamond. Okay. Mm -hmm. Connie Diamond um, is our girl to watch. Yeah, she's our girl to watch. Mm -hmm. She's kind of a new-ish girl, um, recently signed to Def Jam. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she had this super popping song. And from that song, uh, she did a remix with Ken the Man. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, she's kind of working on her next project and stuff like that. But I, like, I love Connie Diamond. I love her. I think that she's really giving the girls what they need to give, especially being a New York girl. Like, Mm -hmm. she's just, uh, she's just doing the damn thing. The New York girlies have been, have been eating. They have been eating. Shout out to New York. I know you're watching here in New York. Oh, but so yes, tap into Connie Diamond. Connie yeah. Diamond, because she's coming yeah. to eat you yeah. up. She can definitely. Ride and don't say sure. we didn't warn you. Hello. Don't say it, because I'm gonna mm. clip this motherfucker up. Mm. We got proof. You. We got the proof. <laughs> 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 well, y'all, it has been another great episode. I mean, of carefree. Yeah. Black Girl Podcast. Hello. Powered by none other than the Revolt Podcast. I'm sad about it. You know. As you are listening to this, we are Mm. gearing up for Revolt World. We are. Let me tell you something about Revolt World. You might be familiar with it, but I'll tell you right now, you're absolutely not. Mm. The Revolt that you know has done a whole facelift for this new experience right here in the heart of Atlanta. Period. And you need to be there. You're going to hear this. You're gonna have a little bit of time to get your shit together and you need to make that decision immediately immediately because Because you don't want to hear this and be after the fact and wish you could be there because guess who gonna be there huh hello Hello. guess who gonna be there we may or may not have like a fire special guest female you gotta keep your ear to the streets child you have got to keep your ear to the streets not only are we gonna be there but a lot of your faves Trina's gonna be in the building Mm -hmm. Young Miami is gonna be in the building with Carisha please like the ladies are really stepping 
And if you're going to be anywhere this weekend, it has got to be Revolt World. Hello. Absolutely. Yes. So shout out to them for, and it's going to be next weekend. Mm-hmm. But I mean, who knows when you live? Like, I, I should say next weekend. It's going to be September 22nd through the 24th. Period. Period. Hello. Yes, y'all. So <laughs> make sure to tap in. Do what the fuck you need to do. Um, at any rate, though, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode. Yeah, we're so honored to be able to come in here and do this for you guys yes. and for us to have this be our space to tell what the fuck we need to say yes. and also give you the space to tell us something too. We want to hear back from you. We want to be do. able Sometimes. to put the care free <laughs> into the carefree black girl. Like pie. The tussle. <laughs> we know we <laughs> got like the tussle. We <laughs> ain't no no smoke. So what? shit, put it on the floor then. What? We want to hear it all, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And we're yes, glad that you enough. tune in to hear from us. We appreciate you. With no further ado, my name is Brand Name Shay. Oh. I am the host that does the most. Make sure to follow me on all social media platforms at B-R-A-N-D-N-A-M-E-S-H-A-Y. And I love you just as much as you love me. Hey. Sexy. <laughs> Key. Oh, me next. Um, <laughs> I am Kiana, Rebellious Kiana. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Rebellious Kiana. If you're looking for me on the TikToks, you can find me at New Sunny D. And yeah, tap in, in tell me TikTok. what you think or don't. You know, this is a dictatorship, so I don't really care. But I would love to hear your perspective. Uh-huh. That's me. You know what? Big guy. Big guy, not the, the little Big guy, big sexy. Big red, big cinnamon red. Um, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> She's been coming for you. You haven't said anything. But y'all can't. I've been messing with her. I've been messing with her all day, so she about. got to. Yeah. Come on, be rain. Come on, let her know what time it is. Stop it. So you can't stop the rain, and you should follow me at my candy rain everywhere. Period. Period. Excuse me. Just just put it in. Add the E at the end of the, the name Moraine and you just gonna find me. SoundCloud, Instagram, TikTok, although I don't be posting shit, but you can still <laughs> follow me if you want to. And everywhere else. Mm-hmm. And you know who else you should follow? Who? 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 The Carefree Black Girl Podcast. And Sexy. Follow us on all social you media know, platforms at Carefree Black Girl Inc. Well, some social media platforms we Carefree Black Girl Inc. But then the on IG, Twitter, that IG or X. <laughs> no. That's so oh, ugly. We call him Twitter. Twitter. So bad. His mama named it Twitter, so and we don't so know we him Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. we yeah. 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 on the bird. <laughs> <laughs> it's CFBG pod. Oh, yeah. every day. Come talk to us. We definitely talk. Come bad. and talk well, to me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, wanna be. If you just let it be fade out right after you. I really wanna know, and then that'll oh. just be the perfect. Oh, it's on to me. Come 